So often in practice I get asked, Greg, I feel like my shoulders are coming in, my posture's hunch forward, how do I correct that? Or they know someone who's got this hunched over posture and they said, I don't wanna get there, how do I prevent that? In this video today, I'm gonna to cover the exercises that I recommend to correct that hunching over posture so you can have a more upright posture and also to prevent that from happening in the future. Often this hunchback posture is associated with a condition known as upper cross syndrome. What that means is the muscles at the front of the chest are extremely tight, the muscles at the back of the neck are extremely tight, the muscles at the front of the neck are weak, and the muscles in between the shoulder blades are weak. So essentially what we have to do, we have to get the mobility in these muscles to allow that spinal structure to come back into its normal position. The first stretch I'm going to cover is to lengthen and mobilize the muscles at the front of the chest, primarily the muscles known as the pec minor and the pec major. Easiest way to do that is to get into a, the doorway and grab hold of a doorway. You want to be upright posture, straight arm, and you want to rotate into it. I want to feel this stretch all the way through this chest area. Additionally, what you can do, you can put the arm in a 45 degree angle, same movement, and you're going to notice a stretch more at the top of the, of the chest there, that's for the pec minor. Very important that you get both of these stretches. The second one is gonna be lengthening the muscles at the back of the neck and really stretching that and getting that mobility there. They're known as the neck extensors. Best way to do this, I've covered this before in previous videos, but if you keep an upright posture, relax the right arm, contacting the back of the head, turning it down and applying some slight force down in the opposite direction and you'll feel this stretch all the way down the back of the neck, doing that on both sides of the chest and both sides of the neck to make sure you lengthen this muscle as much as possible. After we stretch and mobilize those tight muscles, we wanna activate those muscles that are weak. So I'm gonna cover four exercises that activate the muscles of the front of the neck and in between the shoulder blades. The first one is gonna be known as a modified Brugger's. What I want you to do, I wanna interlock your hands behind your back maintaining a straight posture, externally rotate the shoulders and bring the shoulder blades down. Now what I want you to do is to slowly raise your arms up, hold and back down. Raising up, hold and back down. Now you wanna be getting up to 90 degrees with this. Second one you can do is crouching down, bending from the pelvis. I want you to bring your arms up at a 45 degree angle and squeeze in between the shoulder blades. So from the front, that's what it looks like. And from the side, bending down and then bringing them up. Squeezing for three to five seconds and back down. You wanna do about 10 sets of these. Because we're always sitting down or looking forward, these muscles at the front of the neck get very weak. A very easy way to activate those muscles is you can do this on the floor or you can do it against the wall. You wanna maintain the, your spine, your shoulders and your head against the wall and then you wanna tuck your chin directly backwards. It's only a little one. I like that. You don't wanna bring the chin down like this, you wanna bring it backwards. A different variation of this is you can lie on the floor, you want to raise the head just so you can fit a piece of paper underneath your head and then tuck the chin in and hold. And hold. Don't do this. Just raise it up off the ground, tuck the chin in. Another way you can activate those muscles in between the shoulder blades is using a TheraBand or a resistant band. You can wrap it around a pole or put it around your feet. Maintaining an upright posture, bringing your arms back, squeezing those shoulder blades together and releasing. Again, hold for three to five seconds, doing 10 repetitions of this.
So you've stretched and mobilized the tight muscles, strengthened and activated the weak muscles. Now what we have to do is we have to mobilize the spinal structure. Secondary to getting adjusted, what we want to do is we want to go through a couple of exercises that I recommend to make sure you get the most mobility through that spinal structure. I recommend firstly using a foam roller or one of these rollers like this, very effective, really easy to do. What we want to do is bring the foam roller just below the shoulder blades, raise the pelvis up, Holding your hands forward, you don't want to let them rock down like this. Hold them forward and then roll all the way up. As you come down, bring the arms up and down. Up and down. What this will do is it'll mobilize the mid thoracic and upper thoracic area. And it really works those erector muscles as well as you're going down. Just like that. Another easy exercise that you can do to maintain the rotation mobility in the thoracic spine is coming down on all fours. We want to bring, bend the elbow, bring it up to this ear. Rotate all the way out. Now bring the elbow and touch the opposite elbow. 